Schools should focus first on whole class teaching strategies, but there will always be a small number of children who require additional support. Using diagnostic assessment can ensure that specific needs are identified in specific children. High quality, structured, targeted interventions can be led by a teacher, teaching assistant or another adult. They involve intensively supporting children either on a one-to-one -one basis or in small group situations. This support may happen during the English lesson, but it can occur in other lesson time. At present, there are only a handful of intervention programmes in the UK for which there is a secure evidence base. If your school is choosing to use an intervention programme for which there is not a secure evidence base, there are a few points you should bear in mind. So firstly, it's important that you select the right children for the intervention programme, and you do this through a rigorous assessment procedure, which would identify the key issues that they have that you would wish to address through the intervention strategy. Secondly, you need to consider the delivery of the programme itself. It needs to be brief, regular and sustained over a number of weeks. Thirdly, it's important that the effective training takes place for those that are delivering the programmes so they have a really good, thorough knowledge of what it is they are delivering to the children. Timetabling is very important when looking at intervention programmes. Children need to be attending their regular lessons and having interventions that supplement the teaching that's going on in the classroom. There needs to be a good connection between the learning that's taking place in the intervention programme with the teaching of the class so that one can reinforce the other. I want you to pay particular attention because we're going to be using this in our phonics lesson next week. And finally, we need to be very careful with modifications to programmes. Sometimes we're not absolutely sure why these programmes are as effective as they are. But what we do know and what the evidence suggests is that when programmes are carried out in exactly the way they have been written, then we get the most effective outcomes for children. We watch this video and see our guidance report for more detailed information. Remember there are seven other videos that support our key recommendations.